In this lesson, we're going to look at tangent line and secant line relationships. So, in this circle, we have two secants drawn. Uh, they're both intersecting at this external point over here. Let's uh, name some of these segments, because as we see, this line, when it passes through the circle, makes two segments. This segment here, and also this segment outside the circle. Same thing with this line, we have an interior segment, and an exterior segment. The relationship uh, between these line segments could write as EW equals EW. In other words, exterior times whole equals exterior times whole. So the exterior parts would be the segments that are outside of the circle. The holes represent the entire line. So from this exterior point to the end inside the circle. If this were to continue, we wouldn't count that. It's just up to where it ends inside the circle. So this would be one hole. This would be the other hole. So if we gave some measurements to these, I would just say that the measurement of this exterior part is A. The measurement here, this interior line segment, we'll say is B. This exterior part here would be C. And this interior part, or this line segment, we'll say is length D. So we have exterior times whole. So the exterior part of this uh, secant is A. The whole measurement or the whole length is A plus B. So this entire length, A plus B. And that's equal to the exterior of, of this secant. So C here times this whole length here. So that would be C plus D. So we could do an example. We'll give uh, these some measurements. So let's say the exterior part here is 2. This length in here is unknown. This is 3. And this interior part here is 6. So we have exterior times whole equals exterior times whole. So here we have exterior, 2. The whole length would be this entire thing. So 2 plus x. equals this exterior 3 times this whole length. So that would be 6 plus 3, which is 9. So let's solve. First, uh, I'll distribute here. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times x is 2x equals 3 times 9, 27, minus 4 from both sides. We get 2x equals 23. Then we'll divide both sides by 2. And I'll just continue this over here. We get that x equals 23 divided by 2, which is 11.5. So we have this measurement here is 11.5. If they want to know the whole length of this, then in that case, we would have 13.5. Now let's take a look at a different example. So we have a different diagram here. This time we have a tangent line and a secant 
But we're going to use the same formula. Exterior times hole equals exterior times hole. So here we see that this is the exterior. So we have A for exterior. Okay, when we look at the hole, we start at P to where it ends inside the circle. What well, actually just ends right here. And its length is A. So the whole length also is A. So we just have A times A equals exterior times whole. So exterior, that'll just be C times the whole length which would be C plus D. So we end up with just A times A or A squared equals C times C plus D. Let's look at an example for this one. In this diagram, I guess we'll say that this uh, line segment here is unknown. We'll call this X. This uh, exterior line segment, we'll say, is 4. And this interior line segment is 5. And no, this, this is not drawn to scale. I'm just going to look at this as an example. So what we end up with is uh, exterior times whole equals exterior times whole. We use our formula to solve for x. When we look for the exterior here, we see that the exterior length is x. So we have x. Now the whole is also x. So we end up with just x times x. In this secant, we have exterior value of 4. So we have 4 okay, times the whole. This is the whole. So we have 4 plus 5, or 9 as the whole. So we end up with just x times x is x squared equals 4 times 9, 36. So now to solve for x, we'll do the square root of both sides. So on the left side, we have x. The square root of 36 is 6, but it could be positive or negative 6. But since x represents a length, we can't have a negative uh, length. We can't have a negative measurement for distance. So we're going to reject the negative answer and just keep that x equals 6. So this measurement is 6.